If you were having surgery and you knew that your physician was sleep deprived, depressed, or suicidal, you would immediately put a stop to the surgery. Every year, 300 to 400 physicians die by suicide, according to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Five on your side's Art Holiday reports on a local family's motivation for calling attention to what some experts call a pandemic of doctor burnout. Kevin had everything. He was good looking, he was kind, he was ambitious. John Deal of Chesterfield, a proud father reminiscing about his son, Kevin. He loved playing practical jokes, loved playing sports. He, he was an excellent wakeboarder. Everybody loved being around him, but you don't know what's going on inside. And if they're afraid to tell you, you'll, you'll never know. By Kevin's third year of medical school, his family knew he was struggling with mental illness. And he said, you know, dad, mom, I think I'm clinically depressed. I think I need help. And we said, well, go get it. Go do whatever you have to do. And he said, well, I can't let anybody know. It's a red flag on my, on my resume. We made sure he told us, I'm not gonna harm myself. I'm just, I'm, I just need help. The deal's smart, hardworking son died by suicide. St. Louis University came to us and said, hey, you know, your son wasn't alone. This is far deeper than we realized it was. And then this film producer calls us. By the time of Kevin Deal's suicide, filmmaker Robin Simon had already begun working on Do No Harm, a documentary about the pressures causing med students and physicians to an epidemic of suicides. The medical profession has launched a campaign to reduce the high level of suicide among doctors. This qualifies, in my view, as a pandemic. Reducing sleep deprivation. How do we reduce burnout? How do we we return the joy of medicine to physicians and how do we reduce medical errors because that is what's troubling to me. The biggest risk is patient safety. Medical errors are now the third largest cause of death behind heart disease and cancer. Simon brought her cameras to St. Louis to document the deals tragedy. I really couldn't see into the car. I could just see his hand on his leg. He had taken precautions to put something over his head so that we couldn't see. When Do No Harm screens this week at Plaza Frontenac Cinema, it will help Kevin Deal fulfill his destiny to help people. His name will still be alive throughout the world. And that, that's very gratifying because if it's helping people, that, that's the whole objective. That's why we started. Art Holiday, five on your side. The St. Louis premiere of Do No Harm is Tuesday and Wednesday evenings this week at Plaza Frontenac Cinema. The film has already had more than 100 screenings at medical schools, hospitals, and conferences. You can look for this story on KSDK.com for ticket information, including free tickets for med school students.